Brian in the shop. All right, now let's give it up for our science reporter. Let's give it up for Derek Topper. And Derek, I know you always have something interesting. Thanks, Harry. So this week we're going to be talking about uh, an issue we I've briefly mentioned earlier at some other times on this show. Uh, this time we're going to be talking about glaciers um, and climate change. So obviously 95% of the world, so 95% of the world's glaciers are currently retreating. They're being affected by climate change. It's 20 times faster than uh, any natural climate change that's ever happened uh, to human beings before. Um, and obviously there's people that are denying this, but it's undoubtedly true that there is, uh, that the climate change caused by human activity is causing uh, the ice all around the world to melt. And actually 10% of the world is covered with ice. Uh, the ice in these places like Antarctica and on the tops of mountains uh, are basically um, what's causing, when these things melt, it basically causes the seas to rise and this causes places like uh, Antarctica to, which is actually a solid continent, it causes the ice on them to melt. And when all of uh, this ice melts, basically, uh, it begins to cause the sea levels to rise. And obviously this is a major issue for any community like Long Beach or uh, communities all around the world that live near uh, the water. Um, but basically, the uh, water is expected to rise uh, three feet by the year 2100, which is only 100 years, which is only 85 years away. Uh, and basically, it's expected that uh, it's basically this is all being caused by human activity, as the ice is affecting the land masses, and the ice is getting into the water and then melting, and that's causing uh, different problems for the country, for the world as a whole. And this is especially bad for places like Long Beach, uh, which has a lot of dense, which is a densely populated community. I believe it's the 27th most densely populated community in the country. Uh, and it, if we simply have such a highly populated, densely populated area, and we're so coastal and low lying, this could really affect us as all the people in Long Beach will eventually need to find, uh, would eventually need, might need to find other places to live because Long Beach might not be inhabitable if. Uh, the waters rise three feet as most of Long Beach is below three feet uh, of sea level and this would be terrible for uh, the place and it would affect it would basically could it basically could wipe out uh, parts of the world in fact uh, one country in Asia the Maldives it's also a very low-lying area like Long Beach uh, they actually asked some of their neighbors if they could buy land so to move all of their people to uh, this other country because they realized that it's possible that within a few years they might not even be uh, around. So basically, it's just like this for in affecting Long Beach. This could be it could be almost as worse than Sandy because we wouldn't people wouldn't be able to even move back into their homes ever. So it's just something that we all have to work uh, hard to avoid. We should recycle, use um, less energy, try to do as much as we can to uh, prevent this from happening. Uh, back to you, Harry. All right. Great job, Derek, as usual.